would you trade vertical resolution for up to three stops of dynamic range? Yes, you would, so keep watching. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> ISO matters. If you take a picture at 800 ISO, the noise level should be similar when comparing to 100 ISO picture that has been brightened up three stops in post. This is called an ISO-less sensor. Nikon, Sony, Pentax and other works this way. But not Canon, at least not my 700D and some other low-end models. When shooting RAW at 100 ISO and boosting shadows three stops in post, the picture might look noisier than if you shoot at 800 ISO to begin with. That's just the difference in how cameras are built. And if you want to record raw video, it will get a little bit trickier and there's nothing you can do. Or is there? Some clever people figure out how to force the camera to print different ISO values on a different scan lines of the raw image. In reality, it's a bit technical process and if you want an in-depth description about the process, I will leave a link in the description so you can check it out. But to put it simply, you can save a picture where even lines are 100 ISO and odd lines are 1600 ISO. Combine both lines in post and create an image with higher dynamic range. 700D has about 10.5 stops of dynamic range, but it should be possible to get almost 14 stops after combining both exposures. And it works for both pictures and video. If you want to try this out, you have to enable dual ISO module in modules menu, restore the camera, and then select your preferred ISO from the Canon menu and the other from dual ISO submenu. You should expose for the lowest ISO and change the gap depending on the lighting situation. Now, you just record or take picture as normally. I will leave a link to a post that explains this method more in detail. You should read it to have a better understanding of this process. There may be different alternatives and workflows now available. So yeah, experiment and Google a bit research on your own. This is what I use for the video editing. MLV app version 1.11 and in the menu to the right there's an option for dual ISO. You need to turn this on and the rest of the workflow is as you would expect. Export in your favorite format and edit in your favorite program. The biggest drawbacks of this method is noticeable aliasing and Moria patterns in highlights and deep shadows. But the mid-tones should be okay. For the best results, you can activate 1x3 binning while recording in dual ISO. And also use chroma smoothing in MLV app. If you get corrupted DNG files on export, try to export in a different format. ProRes 444 worked for me. To be honest, I didn't see any noticeable difference except for some minor defects here and there. So I don't think it's working for me as it should be. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Mm, but disclaimer, I'm not an expert in any means, I'm just trying to experiment myself. If you want to try out anything I mentioned in this video, you should do it at your own risk. If you have any questions, I will try to answer them in the comments, but it's usually better to just Google your questions, that's what I will do, or try to ask on Magic Lantern forums or on Reddit. All smart guys hang out there. Like and subscribe! <laughs>